Nigga fanned up low seven. Who up? You good? I'm alive, I'm beefing. Shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, fuck your head, man. Shot this shit. Who up? Beans on Twitter said, what's the what's your favorite battle you feel you participated in? Favorite one? Man, there's so many goodies. Damn. To that shit. You got so you got so many fucking battles. Like, do you really just sit back, my nigga, and just I, look at what the you fucking shit so, is? I got, like, I got, like, 12, I think, like, 14, something like that. My, my nigga, that be talking on cam. I, I know you got to have at least 100 off. You don't just oh, start yeah. battle rap. I, know, I, got, not I, got, I got, like, six. I got, like, uh, I probably got at least 1,000 off I, I, cam. You, you pushing 1,000. I mean, nigga. from... Bro, from prison to the streets, I'm thinking about states now. Texas to New York to Georgia to Florida to like, off camera. My nigga, you, yo, this shit is crazy. I don't know what, what was the answer to the question? It might sound crazy. What the fuck was you doing before Battle Rap? Before this? But, but what was you doing to the time before Battle Rap? Before you took it serious? Started traveling and, and all this shit. I mean, before, before Battle Rap, I was still writing. You know, I'm still focused on the craft. That's what people don't understand about being an artist. You know, you got to work on that craft. You know, a lot of people want to jump straight on cam or put a mixtape out. I spent years on the craft before I really went at it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what most of the best did. They didn't just, you know? And it's a different era also because when I started, it wasn't even no, you know, internet as far as YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But you know what, Hollow? Oh. You know what's crazy about it is that it's another era. Do you think the internet helped or hurt battle rap? Uh, it did both. It's a gift and a curse. You know what I'm saying? It did both. You know, I what's think the curse part? And it hurt. I mean, the curse is that anybody could do it, and it's oversaturated. You know, when the Smack had the DVDs, you had the way that shit to drop, and that shit was special. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit was, nigga, you was coming home with your shit, had the blunt, the duchess, you had your Chinese food. Yep. You was like, yeah, hold up, niggas. You know what I'm saying? You in the crib, you skipping all the whack videos, go to the back. You like, yep. all right, I'll watch them shits later. All right, Mook and Jones, let's go. Let's, you know what I mean? Like, it was just that, that special. Now it's you not that it. special unless it's a super big battle, you know? Yo, that's a real shit. Yo, I used to go straight to the back of the DVD. It was crazy. It's just that feeling. So it, it helped, though, as far as getting the recognition and helping, you know, other people's lives change, you know? so Yeah, because if it wasn't, well, I would think if there was no camera, no internet error, niggas wouldn't have blew up to that magnitude. To the point that niggas wanted to test them. You know what I mean? That's what's right. You know, people got to remember that. You know, I think so many people get lost and gassed up and, you know, their success. Niggas got to remember like, if the internet cut off tomorrow, nigga, how you going to make money? Like, I bet uh, it's 100 people listening right now never thought of that. If the internet was gone tomorrow, how you going to make money? What you going to do? Like, like what investment, what you got? And a lot of us just depend on the internet. It'd be over for niggas. You know, they started regulating. Let's say they started regulating the internet like they do in these other countries. You can't curse. You can't do this. You can't watch this. You know, you can't even go to World Star. You go to certain countries. You can't go to, you, you know what I'm saying, YouTube in certain countries. Yeah, so, China, you, know, you can't get on. I, I'll shit. be trying to prepare for the future. Yeah, now that's a fact. So that's why I be preaching to own some shit and make investments and, you know, try to be smarter than trying to floss and, you know, wanting to have everybody. You know, that's understandable, but do it at your means. Niggas go over their means. This rich broke niggas out here. Niggas, <laughs> niggas want to be rappers. This niggas they look up to. They think got millions, and they just living with the Joneses. So they keeping up to the means. They doing shows just to maintain that mansion they pay for. That's thirteen mil, and they only got. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, people don't really know. Like everybody want money, but they don't know what the, everybody say. I done said that nigga when I was young. Nigga, all I need is 10,000. All I need is 20,000. Nigga, I'm going to turn that so quick to 100, so quick. You know, and that's easy to say, unless you're in the streets, because if it was in the streets, I could do that easy. You know what I'm saying? Not easy, but easier. <clears throat> but as far as business, and nigga, I got the IRS on my ass, right? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little different here, Playboy. You know, when you get to that high level, nigga, they want to come get that money. 
You know, that's how most niggas go broke, nigga. It's hard to do. You know, hold on. I'm, I'm trying. I'm getting on my... Nah, I'll fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was going to say, since, since we on the topic about money, do you think that once battlers start putting, you know, how much they getting paid out there, did that fuck the game up when niggas start saying, oh, I got 20 to battle or I got 15? Did that fuck everything up? No, clearly. No, clearly. Hmm. I, got, I got something for cats real quick, my fault. You know about this job? Speaking it up. Speaking it up. What about that made man, LOX? Mm, he got uh, that old shit. He bring, uh, yeah. bumping it? Yeah. That's what we all, that's why I was so hyped. I just heard that. I was like, hold up. But yeah, nah, nah, not to sidetrack it. Niggas definitely fucking up. Uh, you know, that's how it go, man. I don't want to even down bash what they doing, but it's not right, man. Like, move, you know, he put it out there. He was the first, and... Ever since then, it's been a snowball effect. You know, I'm even guilty of doing it in the clips battle. You know, so I can't sit here and act like I'm no better. But I had a reason because the niggas were salty. When you heard Mr. Number, did your price go up? I mean, when I had my car, niggas was like, how the fuck you get this car? Like, niggas was questioning me and shit. I'm like, my nigga, who does that? (laughs) Like, they're like, how much money is paying you? How do you get this shit? My nigga, what? And I'm like... All right, who does this? <laughs> you know, but that's why I did that. But you fucked the game up, you know? Mm-hmm. What you going to say, Dres? I was going to ask, when you heard Summer Madness 2 when Mook threw his number out there and when he got paid, did that make your price go up? Uh, when Summer Madness 2, Mook battled Solomon? Yeah, when he threw... Oh, I got twenty you, for this battle. Yeah, did that make your price go? See, up? The, the difference is I didn't I didn't hear it then because I fell asleep. I think I fell asleep on that part, right? So I'm oh. hearing about it later. <laughs> and I had to rewatch it when I wasn't that tired, you know. Cause, <laughs> baby, I don't remember too much from that battle. I never remembered it till I seen Chris Unbiased. I don't think I really watched that battle like that. So I just remember seeing Chris Unbias do an interview and, you know, show the clip of it. And that's when I remembered it, like, oh, shit. And it was kind of foul, you know what I mean? Because it was like, the way he did it, I kind of forgot he did that. I was like, damn, you should have done smack like this. So, hey, yo, hey, hey, yo, I'm going to bring you back to the Smack DVD era real quick. Which battle did you fuck with the most? Uh, on the joint, I had to say the party already joined just because the party mm-hmm. already not not taking nothing away from Mook, you know what I'm saying? Because he did his numbers in that, but party already that it wasn't even like all all of his rounds, but the first three were so vicious. I had to say that joint on Mook and Mills because they both went in. Yo, 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 Mook and Mills is a classic. Yo, there was so many. Yo, yo that I, one is dope. The 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 Mook Jones is dope. The uh, mm-hmm. Rex yeah. Uncasa was dope. Ooh, that was another goodie, Rex Uncasa. Yeah, that nigga Uncasa was going crazy. I heard that on the radio. Hey, that nigga was going crazy, son. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that nigga was too turned. I fucked with that one. Now that was a classic. That Jay Fuck, even Jay Mills and um. And Castro, or Castro, even that was, yo, yeah. yo, hold on, hold yeah, on. Oh, Jay Mills, sir. Yo, you can't even front that Ness versus um Jay Mills. That shit was fire, B. When they, yeah. when they brought oh, yeah. the what? Yeah. When what? Diddy and them brought it on the band. crazy. Mm-hmm. What? Nigga, that's, I, I really think Jay Mills get overlooked for that performance, but that's one of the best battle performances, like, in that, that day. When like I think of that, that whole fuck crazy. you, fuck this, was he had a whole round saying fuck you, a whole round. Two and a half yeah, minutes no, to he that. Went, he went noodles. Yeah, no, no, no. Yo, he was that guy. He was that guy. Paolo, let me That's one in too. What was your favorite fight club battle to watch? The crazy I'm part is probably um no 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 because I was thinking go ahead which one you was gonna give me 
That forty cal Sam scarf is my favorite. That's my All right. which one. Which one? I'm gonna say. The, the, which I one? Though? The, uh, I think the first one. Uh, I think the first one. The the, the one first one. Sure the first one. Yeah, because the yo the, my, the rematch. That nigga Sam scarf was told me. What, what he said? He said, uh, I flipped your block like a boy from Contras. Yo, that nigga, yo, Sam Scarf was wildin' on forty cows, son. Hey, them niggas was betting they jewelry, b. That nigga bet his dipset chain, man. That nigga Sam Scarfo was in the blog. Yo, like, yeah, you know, got a little dipset chain, something light. Like, man. <laughs> nah, that's my guy, too, Sam Scarf. Yo, Sam Scarfo was definitely wigging on 40, but 40 came back that second time. You know what's crazy? A lot of niggas forget that French Montana used to be a battle rapper. Yeah, nah, French was out there. He was out there mm-hmm. acting. He was active. Uh, yeah, you know what? 40 Cal I think might be a little underrated, too, man. <laughs> Yo. 40, 40, 40 Cal. Real, Real shit. I mean, no, nah, I think he got his... I think he got his just dude. Niggas know he get busy. But it's just like, that's it, though. You know what I'm saying? You like, 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 not like how people talk about everybody else. You know what he had? Niggas talk about 40 Cal. Oh, because he didn't have much. What, he only had, what, two battles? That's that's out? I know he battled more than that. And that's why the internet ever changed everything right there. Yeah, that's right what I love. That's, that's like, exactly you know, the reason why. We got why. with this new era. And, you know, the the internet helped. changed everything. Because, you know, it was mad battles we didn't see. Like, I'm, when all them niggas went to Puerto Rico, that's when Shells from the Bronx, BJ Mills, I'm hearing this shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, it was mad shit we didn't see. And if you think about that, they would they even had words back and forth for that shit. Jenny had mm-hmm. went out there to Puerto Rico. I st- where oh, the fuck is international P? Nigga, yeah, yeah. yeah. what up? Me and Shells at one point, like that would have been crazy. They were trying to get you to go to? No, I'm saying in the hood, like I used to always be on Shells block where Shells used to chill at. So there was this was off camera. They was trying to get me and Shells to go at it. <laughs> What? Yeah, we supposed to do it, but he got busy back then. I ain't gonna lie, I was a, I was a big fan of shows. He was he was one of the niggas. But I, um, yeah. I, I yo, I remember him and him and Jay Mills was going at it like they were going some heated type shit going back and forth. That's when battle rap was that shit. B. Hell yeah, yeah. Now, that was off can. Only person, only person I battled was. That niggas might know is fucking, uh, well, niggas know Ransom. I battled Ransom, and I battled Johnny Cash, Ghetto Ghost, and nigga that battled Nemesis. I battled him in a fight club. Um, mm. That's about it. That's it. Yo, yo man, nigga Ransom got busy. Right. He got crazy. You want Ransom? Yeah, I got, I mean, it was TMB back then, because I still remember the buzz I said, that even though it was like, now they won't be that hard, but I was like, you talk about the arms you hold, PlayStation 1, nigga, you take too long to load. Like, I was killing it with that back then. <laughs> I remember I was freestyling on, on Johnny Cash. I was like, I could tell you nicest. I'll chop this Italian nigga up and turn him to Sicilian slices. Like, I was going crazy, like. We went, me and him went like six rounds in Fight Club. Mm-hmm. God damn, B. Yeah, so. See, and that's another I still thing, man. Y'all, that niggas, y'all niggas used to have rounds on deck, B. Like, y'all had them rounds on deck. Oh, yeah. Like, but see, it's different now. Because, like, whoever, whoever now, if, stop. It, if this is a battle now, and, and say Organic or Smack was like, yo, man. This is a good ass battle. I got another twenty five hundred for whoever win this next round. Niggas are dead ass not go another round. Niggas wouldn't even do another round nowadays. Mm-hmm. I mean they should they should they should do that though, not not another round, but they should do that period. Like that'll make niggas go hard and niggas that they think ain't motivated or don't write. As soon as niggas got sloppy, that's what they should have started doing. Like, all right, let's motivate Man, them been instead saying of that. paying him. You know, yeah, nah, they definitely should have did that. I would have did that. It, mm-hmm. it got to be something. After seeing Rex and Bird, like, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. was hype. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, hello. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, do you think that ever with the Midwest movement, like, is that the most, damn, see, that Smack DVD era is is too fire. Like, you had to really be going through that shit for that Smack DVD. You got to be waiting for the shit. 
You know what I'm saying? The yeah, Flexi League yeah. ain't drop every week, every other day. Like, you had to wait and go to the bootleg stores and all that shit. Wait to see, but like, I remember all of that, bro. Like, yeah, they had niggas so feel bad like was when they announced it. They announced Sirius Jones and Mook before they dropped it, so they had niggas waiting like a month and a half. I'm like, why are niggas going to wait so long? They got the shit already. Like, yeah, right. But you was hyped for it. Oh, you was hyped for it. Like, you was hyped for it. Man, I said, like, yo, smack, smack that nigga, but I, I definitely went to the battles first. I ain't even going front. I watched the interviews after the battle. And shit. I was more hyped for that shit. And this is an mm-hmm. everywhere. This is nice. You have to be nice to be on it and all that. So, but then you got the Midwest movement era, the, the the one with Verb and all of them. Like, yo, that shit was fire. How y'all niggas battled them, be the same. Look, that shit mm-hmm. was so monumental to me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all had a reason to win and shit. But you talk about me and Rich and and Hitman and Verb. I mean, you and Rich. I mean, you and Big. You and Rich. Uh, uh, going out to St. Louis, and you battle Big T. I mean, it's just like y'all didn't know these niggas oh, like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking yeah, the Midwest versus versus East Coast. Yeah, like yeah, y'all didn't know these real. niggas at all. Yeah, exactly. That's why it was so real. Niggas did not wasn't friends. We didn't want to be friends. You know what I mean? And then it's like I even think the fans was involved with that shit because it was just like yeah, nigga, we rooting for the East Coast damn there, like. Against these niggas, you know what I'm saying? I know they fans doing the same thing, so it was just like it was Help. like my man, nigga, competition, my nigga, boy. I was, my nigga, I'm hollow. I'm from Chicago, my nigga. When you battle Big T, bro, okay. I was so fucking mad, B. Like I was hot, man. <laughs> I was hot. You know, we, we show love everywhere though, so we wasn't tripping. But I already know you was holding it down because Big T was coming off that dick and frost. I ain't gonna lie, I love that battle. Like that, uh, Dick and Frost versus Big T. I, I love that battle for some reason. You know, what word? I mean? yeah, that shit. Besides Dick and T, I mean Dick and T. Besides Dick and Frost, like the end of his rounds, they started getting uh. But all the first half of his rounds is fire and hilarious. You know, you know, and Big T was cooking the whole time. Yo, I don't know. I don't know if he was. Uh, you know, Dick and Frost was freestyling a lot of that shit though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we all used to do that at that time. Like, I kind of got off that. He was still on it, but that's how I came in. Like, Philly Swain, Young L, R's, J Focus, like, all that time. I was just wasn't writing rounds. I ain't had no rounds in my head that I knew like I do now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Dad, that, this shit is wild. Why so you come up to head? Can you get the head? Like, it's one thing to be a battle rap fan. It's another one you watch these niggas. From the, you know what I'm saying, grow and shit, nigga. When you wearing a plain mm-hmm. white shirt, I ain't getting my GED, doing all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, I got, I got to get loopy though, my G. I got, I got some. I got to tend to my guy. I hate to cut it. Nah, short. that's this is your hollow. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, nah, I saw love. I appreciate the fans, and uh, I hope you know I got some clarity on whatever. They, I hope they got some clarity on whatever they want to know. You know. No, nah, most definitely, most definitely, man. I'm being touched. Shout your uh, shit out, my nigga. Oh, you know, lomclothing.com. Fuck with me. We got, uh, I actually got some dad hats. I got uh, some crew necks and tees up there. Um, definitely get some new hoodies for the win and all that. And go to YouTube, Hollow the Dawn, LOM, and subscribe. I got videos. You know, we just trying to stay loopy out here because niggas got to stay out there so niggas remember. <laughs> niggas seem to forget. <laughs> That's a legit, be safe, my nigga. One love. Drop this shit. Drop this shit. Drop this shit.